After the departure of Mark Cooper, Phil Brown joins the Bluebirds on a end of season contract as the permanent manager of Barry FC. So what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel by me Baron Tor. Yes, I'm back with another video on the channel. I know it's been quite a long time, but I'm back with a new sort of video with after with Matt Cooper unfortunately being sacked under 24 hours ago yesterday and the new manager coming in, the ex South End United manager in Phil Brown. Phil Brown been at multiple clubs like the likes of Bolton Wanderers, he was at Hull, he was at Preston. So he's got a bit of ex a bit of decent experience along him with the top end clubs. Like Bolton now with Everton League One, Hull in the Championship, same with Preston in the Championship. So, is it is this the right appointment for us for the end of the season? Well, there's nine games left for the season. We need three games out of nine to potentially stay up. So, I think it could do us the job until the end of the season. And then we build... Well, we find the right manager for us. We really build good into next season. Maybe we could bring in the likes of. Well, I've got my suggestion, and other play, other fans have got their suggestions and who we would like to bring in for the long term deal. But we're gonna go into what the club had to say about Phil Brown joining the Blue Boys. But before we do that, don't forget to smash like video, subscribe channel, to and post notification on the every single time. I post the video and let's get into what the club had to say about the appointment, the appointment of Phil Brown and McDonald as the new Barry FC manager and assistant manager. So then this is what the club had to say about Phil Brown joining the Bluebirds. So the club is delighted to announce the appointment of Phil Brown as the third team manager on the con on the contract until the end of the 2021 slash 22 campaign. Brown will be assessed by Neil McDonald, who returns to the June Hotel Stadium after playing a key role in the EFL survival last season during the spell working alongside Rob Kelly. Having managed in over 500 games across all four divisions in England, Brown arrives with a wealth of experience to call upon the Bluebirds League 2 running. A defender in his playing days, the South Shield Four made over 600 league appearances during his career, which saw him represent Hartlepool United, Halifax Town, Bolton Wanderers, and Blackpool. He served assistant to Sam Allardyce at both Bolt at both Blackpool and Bolton Wanderers before stepping up to management himself for the first time in summer 2005 when he was appointed boss of Derby County. However, it was however it was his spell in charge at Hull City which really assembled Brown as a boss as he led up the Tigers to glorious promotion to the Premier League in 2007-2018 before, before the, the fair in the odds to keep them up to fight the following season. After a year, after a year in charge at Preston, Preston North End, Brown then put put roots with South End United, where he successfully delivered promotion from League Two in the first, his second full season at the helm. Following five years with the Shrimpers, Brown took charge for a stint at Swindon before experienced managerial life abroad, when he took on the challenge at the Indian Super Outfit. Hyderan. However, he returned to England to retake the Rens at Southend, who were six points adrift, adrift of safety at the base of League Two. Brown oversaw two victories and a run of six games unfeated at the end of the campaign, but it wasn't quite enough to see them pull off the remarkable escape. Brown and McDonald meet the Bluebirds coaching staff at training ground on Monday morning 
and will be in the dugout for his first game in charge at Leighton Orient this weekend. So that is what the club had to say about Phil Brown. As I said, he's got experience and the likes of he's managed, well, been at Blackpool as a player, he's been at Hartlepool as a player, he's also been at Bolton, he's managed at Bolton as a caretaker manager. He's also been at Hull, taking them from young, well, taking them up the ranks, being in the Premier League with Hull, that amazing whatever he did at half time, telling his team, instead of taking his team inside to the tunnel, kept them on the pitch and had the team talk on the pitch, which is a bit of a strange thing to do, but if that what works for Phil Brown, it works, but hopefully we don't see any of that at Barrow. But this is what, well, let's go in now to what I think Phil Brown could potentially bring to the Bluebird for the following nine games left for the season. So then, moving on to what I think, well, what I think about this appointment of Phil Brown. So the nine games left for the season, following the likes of Leighton Orient on Saturday, Port Vale next week, we've also got to play Salford away, and the likes of other games, we've got to play Swindon, we've also got to play Northampton, so we've got a few tough games running, but to be honest, we only need three wins to stay up. That's likely to happen, we was to be fair. It depends on how Phil Brown applies his assist his system into our squad. But the problem that I want to, the thing that I would like to see from Phil Brown is to allow us to create more chances. Because the thing is at the minute when we had Cooper in sideways passes back to Farman, balls were long long played up from Farman, but if he, hopefully he's not, well, hopefully he uses different plays, hopefully he like starts to use Dimitri say more in the last nine games of the season, hopefully he starts to maybe bring Josh K back with him being there, going back from injury, but as a lot of Barrow fans are saying at the minute, we've got to, we've got to, Back him, back the team for the last nine games of the season. See what he can bring to us for the last nine games of the season. And hopefully we stay up after hopefully getting the three wins. And then summer, we bring in a new manager and thought, oh, unless the club appoint him as permanent. But bringing in a new manager in the summer, long term, recruiting, outgoing transfers as well out of the club. But now, let's go in to looking at the team that Phil Brown has managed in his time as a manager. So then, now moving on to the teams that Phil Brown has managed in his time as a manager. Well, he still is a manager, but starting in 1999, then near, well, late 1900s, so... He was at Bolton Wanderers as a caretaker manager in 1999. 2005-2006, then he went to a permanent deal at the Rams in Derby County. 2006-2010, spending four years at Hull City. 2011, he went to Preston North End. 2013-2018, he managed South End United. 2018, he went to Swindon. 2018 to 2020 went into the Indian division at Hyderabad. And then 2021, he made a second spell with Southend United. And now he has been appointed as the Barrow AFC manager. But as I said, I don't think it's the right appointment. But then I don't think it's the wrong appointment. We'll see what he can bring to us. But... Let me know in the comments, Barrow fans, what your thoughts are of this appointment or any others that see this video, like South End fans. What were your thoughts of when he was at the likes of you? Is this a good appointment for us or is it not? Let me know in the comments. But if you have enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Drop a like if you subscribe to Alton, push the notification bell every single time I post a new video. And welcome, Bill Brown and Niall McDonald too. The Bluebirds.